Hey, Victor. The offense on this team has been together for quite a long time. Kucherov, Stamkos, Tyler Johnson, a lot. The defense has come together more in the last few years. Could you talk about that evolution as players have been added in, in the last few seasons? Yeah, I mean, you know, me and Mac have been here, you know, quite a while. And, you know, you got Cherney and Sergey and then, you know, Roots and, and Savvy, obviously, this year. And, uh, you know, we've been able to create some chemistry together. And, uh, you know, guys that have fit right in, you know, big guys that can skate and move the puck. So fits right into to the way we want to play hockey. And, uh, you know, it obviously helps with the forwards that we have. And obviously Vasic you know, stopping the pucks and, you know, for us, it's all about, you know, trying to get up in the play as much as we can, defend hard and, you know, do what we're good at. But, uh, yeah, it's been this year, I think it's been a lot about consistency and we've been seeing the same partners for, for a long time. So, you know, we've been able to create some chemistry there and it's been all good. Dan Rosen, NHL.com. Yeah, Victor, uh, along those lines, you, you talk about the same partners and creating chemistry. Why do you think your pairs work? What what works about the the three balance that you have balanced pairs there? No, we got righty lefty. Uh, you know that's best case scenario, I think. And you know, for us, we we kind of read the game the same way. And uh, you know, we have different roles, obviously. But at the end of the day, we go out there and, like I said earlier, we try to defend well and you know pick each other up when when needed to. And you know, it's just one of those things that. Uh, you know, it's been it's been fun to follow. And Savvy obviously came in a little bit later, but you know, it fits right into to what we're trying to accomplish and the way we want to play. And you know, same as last year with Bogo and uh, and Shaddy as well. And uh, you know, you got Luke always ready to go, and it's proven that you know throughout the playoffs that when he's get called upon, you know, he goes out there and delivers. So uh, you know, we have that uh, kind of mentality going out there, and uh, you know, we trust one another and. Uh, yeah, we're full confidence in 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 the decor uh, playing against any line. Joe Smith, the Athletic. Hey, Victor. I know your focus is on the the here and now and the big goal you have ahead. But you know, you've been here a long time, and you've been here through some of the lean years too. Like, have you been able to sit back at all at this point and just kind of kind of appreciate or realize how special kind of this group is in the salary cap era to have all these guys in their primes and all you guys, you know, playing together and. Uh, just, I don't know if you give your chance to, you, you know, even you and Steven talk about this at all. Just what, you know, what we're, what, what we're, what you're part of right now. Yeah, it's obviously very, very special. And, uh, you know, we'll have time in a, in a few weeks to sit back and, you know, look at it. But obviously after winning last year, we had some time to, to sit back and, you know, it's been a long ride. And, uh, you know, especially, you know, for me and Stammer and, you know, even Killer and Johnny and Pally, you know, it's been, it's been a lot of years where it's been some heartbreak and, you know, some tough seasons where we missed the playoffs. But, you know, at the end of the day, this is a very, very hard trophy to win. And, you know, for us to, to do the last year was uh, super special to do that together. And uh, to be back, to have a chance again is uh, definitely nothing you, you take for granted. And, you know, we've deserved to be here and so does Montreal. So, um, you know, it's just focusing in on the next game and, you know, in a few weeks, we'll sit back and, and reflect. John McKenzie, Sportsnet. Hey, Victor, I'm just curious what uh, impressed you the most about Nikita Kucherov that we as media or, or maybe the fans don't get to see on a daily basis that you get to see. Well, I think, you know, you see a lot, but, you know, he's never, I think Bassett touched on this the other day, you know, he's never satisfied. He's always working hard to 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 improve and, you know, you see him out there on the ice, you know, long before anyone else gets on there and, you know, long after everyone leaves. So, you know, he's working on his uh, on his skill set and, you know, his his craft and it's a treat to watch. You know, you see one of the best players in the world do that and, you know, kind of rubs off on, on other guys. And, you know, he's just a, a leader in, in his own way. And, you know, it's been a treat to watch and see him develop to the player he is. And. You know, that's what makes this team special is that everyone is thriving towards the same goal. But you're going to need difference makers, and, and Kuch is definitely one of those. Greg Wyshynski, ESPN. Hey there, Victor. Um, 
you've mentioned in the past how much playing in the Olympics would mean to you. And, um, you know, obviously the NHL agreed to go back to the Olympics in last year's CBA. Uh, but Gary Bettman sounded a little pessimistic yesterday when talking about participating in the Beijing Games and whether or not that's going to happen for the NHL. And I was wondering what your reaction to that was. Well, this is <laughs> it's the first I've heard. So, uh, you know, the Olympics is one of the biggest dreams of mine. And, you know, I haven't been able to to participate in one. And, you know, this might be the, the last chance I get. So, uh, you know, that sucks to hear. But at the end of the day, I got to focus in on, on, on what the task I have at hand right now. But what, when, when you get an opportunity to represent uh, your country on the biggest stage, it's, it's one of those things that you'll, uh, you know, probably never forget. So, uh, yeah, for me, it's, it's, uh, obviously something that, you know, I've been dreaming about my whole life and something I, yeah, want to do before, before I hang up my skates. J.F. Chamont, Journal de Montreal. Oh, it's all good, uh, Chris. I have no questions. Sorry. No, no problem. Sarah Oleski, TSN. Sorry about that. Hi, Victor. I just wanted to ask another question about Nikita. Just with everything that he's had to deal with this season, obviously, for him to be able to put up the numbers and offensive contributions in this postseason, I mean, what impresses you most? about that no yes that he's he's obviously a super special player that you know don't come around too often and you know to see the company he's in you know with the production he's had the last two playoff runs is, is pretty remarkable and it speaks to what he's accomplished as a player but also what we've accomplished as a team and he's obviously a huge reason why we're we've had success these past two postseasons and um you know yes like I said, he has, keeps working hard on, on what he does well. And, you know, we're obviously haven't played the whole year and coming into the playoffs, you know, there's probably some uncertainty, if, uh, but, you know, he just got rid of that, you know, the first game against Florida and, you know, never looked back and it's just a treat to watch. And, you know, the things, you know, he's battling through and, you know, it's always fun to watch uh, guys come up and rise to the occasion. And, you know, he seems to do that every game. We have time for two more for Victor, Mary Fiello, Tampa Bay Times. Question, Mary? No question? Okay. Go to Luke Jelena, RDS. Oh, Thank you very much. Good afternoon, Victor. Uh, despite the fact that you played a really solid game yesterday, you were up by only one goal after 40 minutes, but then you scored early in the third period. Uh, having that, that killer goal is something that you can develop as a group or just... Luke, I'm sorry, you got a bad connection. We're, we're not going to be able to... Um get to the question with that connection. Mary, we'll go back to you if uh, you have a question. Yes, yeah, sorry, my Wi-Fi decided to disconnect. Um, Victor, I know you can't specifically speak for Chernak and his emotions last night after scoring his first postseason career playoff goal and that happening in the Stanley Cup final, but as a veteran defenseman, can you kind of speak to those emotions of getting that first career postseason goal and how they kind of equate to scoring maybe your first career goal and just how much of an impact he's had on this lineup in just such a short period of time this postseason too. Yeah, I mean, Cherny is, he's a beast on the ice and, you know, he's probably not known for his offense, but at the end of the day, you know, that's that's the way we want to play. And, you know, that's, he looked like a, you know, power forward driving the net and an unbelievable tip. And, um, you know, to get your first playoff call in the finals is obviously super, super special. And, um, you know, kind of got us, you know, off and running as well. So, uh, you know, Sharon is, uh, like I said, a big part of our blue line and the way he plays the game, you know, it's physical in his own end, but he's not afraid to get up in the play as well. And he has some, you know, unreal looks yesterday, hit the, hit the crossbar and has some good looks. So, 
Um, like I said, we're when we move the puck and we get the D involved, we're a, we're a, we're a very good team. So uh, it's fun to watch Journey, you know, develop into the player he is, and still young and you know still improving. So uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun to watch.